Hi, I'm Lori Lighting from Dreams, Visions, and Revelations, as well as Lori Lighting Ministries. Today the Lord said to me, which I feel is for the rest of us, the, the, the church body, to embrace change. He said that this is a new season, and he's birthing something new. The old has passed, and the new has begun. There are things that maybe some of us are carrying inside of us that we haven't completely surrendered to Jesus that he wants to develop and strengthen, which is going to develop and strengthen our walk in him. It's going to develop and strengthen our faith in him and it's going to glorify him in greater ways there are things hidden inside of us that have started to grow but because of persecution shame guilt rejection um, fear of, of failure we have pulled back and we've hidden these things back inside of us again. Jesus is saying it's time to let go and trust me fully in this. I will get you to where I need you to go to get to. I will help you embrace this change. I will help you to overcome the fears that you're facing through this process. We must continue to learn and grow church. We must embrace this. We must be willing to allow the Holy Spirit inside of us to do what he needs to do so that we're able to fulfill the destinies that Jesus Christ has designed for each of us. We must be willing to say, yes, Lord, have your way. Yes, Lord, bring your fire into this. Refine it, Lord. Do what you must do. I am completely yours. It's no longer I who live, but you, Jesus Christ, who lives in me. We must trust the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit knows what he needs to do in us. He knows what we're going to go through. He knows our weaknesses, our fears. And he has already planned and created and designed our life before we were even birthed here. He will get us through these strongholds, through these mountains, through these deep waters, if we can completely trust in him. Are you willing and ready to allow him to develop these things hidden inside of us now? There are gifts waiting to be opened, new ministries ready to be unwrapped and embraced. The Father has given these gifts to us, but he's saying, what good is a gift if you don't unwrap it? You must unwrap it. You must embrace it. You must love it. You must care for it. You can't just hold on to this gift and love it and embrace it. Yet we don't know what it is because we haven't unwrapped it. The dream he gave me last night was to do with this gift. I had birthed this gift and I was so excited, this beautiful, beautiful gift. And he had told me a, a few days ago that this gift was coming. I didn't know what this gift was, but I was excited because he always will tell me what's coming. He always delivers his promises. So this gift has come 
and I could see that I had to unwrap him. It was a baby boy. I had to unwrap this beautiful gift that my the doctor, the deliverer, had tucked his arms behind his back and wrapped the white cloth around him to secure him, to keep him comfortable, and it was placed in my arms. And now it was my time. It was it was time for me now to take care of this baby, to unwrap this beautiful boy. I removed his arms from his back, gently placed him down beside his body. I looked over him, making sure that he was perfect and he wasn't, there was nothing wrong with him and he was perfectly designed, created for this purpose. He was absolutely a joy to my heart. I lifted him up in the air like we do with our babies and just, you know, talking to him and you know, teasing him in a loving, kind, mothery way. And he was giggling with joy. He then started to speak. And the people around me were, were amazed. And I was amazed. How can this be? How can this newborn baby, who's only a day old, be speaking in full sentences now? But it was possible because I allowed the Holy Spirit, the Deliverer, who gave me this beautiful baby boy, Jesus Christ, to develop this ministry, this beautiful gift. I allowed him to come and do what he needed to do with this beautiful gift, this baby boy, this ministry. It's a teaching ministry. It's not easy to step into something that you've never really done before. And I'm still learning and developing this gift. But inside of me is this desire, this strong passion, this boldness, this stirring up in me that is telling me to keep going. Keep going. You're getting stronger in this. You're developing in this. I'm teaching you. I'm speaking through you. So that's why I'm doing this church, is, is the desire and this passion that he's placed inside of me to do this for the church, to encourage the church, to build up the church, to love the church, to teach the church what he's teaching me. I need to go through these things myself. I'm not, I'm not over here, and, and you guys are over here. We're here. We're full and completely joined in one, as one body of Christ in Jesus Christ. He is the head, and we are the body. Each of us has to go through our own, own um, journeys, um, and we, have, we either choose to um, fear it, and stop moving in this area of our lives or we can embrace it and just say okay Lord hang on to me get me through this that's why we need to trust in the Holy Spirit we need to not fear the Holy Spirit we need to develop a relationship with the Holy Spirit so that we know our Holy Spirit so well and so um, intimately that we can we can allow him to do anything he wants in us and through us because we trust him so so completely in every way of our lives so church i'm encouraging you to stop hiding the things inside of you that the holy spirit is wanting to develop to pull out of you to unwrap i'm encouraging you church this is not for you to keep to yourselves this church needs this gift. The world needs this gift. Jesus Christ needs this gift, gift to develop, to glorify him, and to bring change into this world. Good change. I love you. And we'll talk to you soon.